So uh, if you are watching this video, either you are an Argo CD administrator or if you are a DevOps engineer or maybe you are a developer who is trying to figure it out uh, how to configure means how to add a cluster, Kubernetes cluster to Argo CD, how to add a repository, repository in Argo CD uh, in a secure way. So uh, welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Abhishek Sharma and let's quickly jump uh, to the demonstration. All right. So uh, this is the repository, Argo City example repository uh, and inside that this is the directory Argo City cluster and repo. So uh, here you can see all the example which I'm going to discuss and uh, the link I will be added to the uh, video description. Uh, so if you can, uh, you can see this in this readme description I have given uh, the entire dis description how exactly this will work, uh, the prerequisite, some of the example and even the explanation of uh, how exactly this will work. But before I jump to this, uh, I would like to discuss about the prerequisite and if you feel that these things are not in your cluster setup, feel free to skip this video. So the first prerequisite is Hashikov Vault has to be uh, set up prior to this exercise uh, because we are going to use Hashikov Vault uh, to configure the cluster and repo. And then uh, prior to this, the secret, so uh, to add a cluster and to add a repository, we require a secret, right? So um, I'm going to add those as a prerequisite and then finally the Bunsy cloud uh, webhook so we are going to use those Bunsy cloud annotation to interact with vault so if, if you don't have these three things um, as i mentioned you can skip this video and uh, then uh, if you see here there are only a template directory which will have the template of creating those uh, cluster and a repo and then there is a chart.yaml repo uh, readme file and then values.yaml and if you see the values.yaml it has a uh, two blocks one is repository and one is clusters so uh, as you can see in the below explanation i have mentioned uh, repositories are nothing but a list of repository which we wanted to add to argo city and then the list of clusters which we wanted to add to argo city uh, there is naming conventions are there like if you can add whatever you can add it here right uh, the name which you wanted to add for repository or cluster uh, there is a naming convention where it, uh, i'm going to explain that in a bit so for example uh, in the template file, uh, in case of repository, we are using this one. So let me quickly go and show you the uh, template of repository. So uh, it will use a kind secret and the name which it will use the same, the name which you are going to give in the values.yml, uh, the repo, dollar repo and repo. And then finally, uh, these levels are, I might believe that you have already gone through the uh, manual way of creating repositories. So these levels are required to create a repository type of secret. So if you see the secret type is repository and then finally we are using the annotation. This is a bungee cloud annotation. Uh, again, these things you need to modify based on your configuration. I'm not going to go in depth on this. These are nothing but the URL of your vault. Uh, when you configured uh, access uh, in Kubernetes, like the name of the access and the, the role which, you, which your Kubernetes cluster can interact with your vault. These are the configuration which you add. You need to add based on your configuration, and finally, and these are the data which is required here. Uh, one is the name, uh, so we are using the name from values.yaml and adding a prefix of repo. Project is default. Uh, in your case, you can define. Uh, you can even read these from values.yaml. Uh, the type is git in this case, and then URL and password. And if you observe, these two uh, values are uh, reading from a vault using this annotation um, again uh, i have using my path feel free to change based on your path for example under secrets i'm using argo city path and argo city i have repositories and then finally uh, uh, if you observe uh, under repository it has a name exactly matching with this particular uh, name so if we are using infrastructure helm chart uh, make sure that under your uh, argo city repository path you have infrastructure helm chart and then URL and password. Similarly, if you are using business M charts, you should have that path already predefined under repository, business M chart and URL and password. This URL and password are nothing but uh, the URL of your repository and then password, which is if you are using a token, you can use a token to add those things. Similarly, if I go to clusters, clusters are also using, um, uh, if you see the template, nothing but the, uh, the label is different in this case the label is cluster same annotations and clusters required a different uh, data in this case a cluster name 
um, the server and the config server is nothing but uh, the endpoint and config will have uh, all the TLS and secrets uh, to connect to this config uh, cluster again if you observe here uh, the path is under Argo CD clusters and the name of the cluster so if you are using uh, this one dev cluster and stage cluster make sure that uh, your Argo CD cluster path has that particular dev cluster endpoint dev cluster config similarly stage cluster so basically uh, this is the naming convention I was talking about so whatever the name you will give the same path it will try to go and configure and finally it will go and add uh, to the cluster so uh, just a quick recap uh, we have a git repository where we are going to define uh, this particularly uh, this data which cluster we wanted to use which repository we wanted to use and then argo city will actually read from it and try to deploy it during the deployment uh, it will read from vault using those annotation and modify the actual value uh, uh, accordingly and add the cluster in the repository as well so what we are doing we are using a gitops way of adding clusters and repository to the argo city thank you so much for watching this